Hey, uh, how's it going? Uh, let's pray with a sincere heart to hear from the voice of God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you. Father, open our ears or our hearts unto you. Open our uh, eyes to see the truth. Father, I just ask that you please speak through me and help these people, whoever is praying with me, to have their heart prepared to hear the word of God in Jesus' name. I just ask that you please let your spirit speak in Jesus' name. I just pray. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, if you want to go to heaven, do not hate anybody, but love everybody. If you hate even a little bit, you cannot go to heaven. You must repent. You must repent. We are unlike in any time in the history where the Bible says, in the last days, and indeed it is the last days, and it's getting harder and harder because the demons are being more released more and more. And they're doing everything because their time is running out. They're doing everything in their power to get as much as people to hell. And I heard from this um, prophet pastor lady in Korea. She's the, she does like evangelism work in China as well. She said God told her around in 2012 or 2013, one out of 10,000 people are entering heaven. And most churches, most churches are lukewarm and they will not be lifted up. They'll be all rejected from the kingdom of God. Right now, right now, um, she said it is time for the bride to get her makeup ready her clothes clean, everything clean before the Lord. And she, she asked God, is there, um, is there a drawing line? What is a standard to enter into heaven? What is the standard? And God told her, there is no standard. But you must do your best every single day to get to know Him and to enter into heaven. You must seek and you must seek and seek and seek me till you find and you find and you find every day of your life until you go to heaven. Stop thinking about playing around. You want to play around with games? You want to play around with entertainment, movies, TV, whatever you want to chat with your friends and have fun right now? Forget it. Forget it. You want to get married and be married to you and you want to seek your you know, husbands and wives and and just, just have flaunt in the world? Right now is not the time. Right now is not the time. Things are getting so evil. If you do not get prepared, you will be deceived. And the biggest, um, this biggest sins of the, of the end times are going to be sins of fornication, adulteries, sexual immorality. That is the biggest sins. And... There's going to be a work of deception. There's going to be a work of devil's deception. If you're not awake, if you're not watching and praying, watching and praying, watching and praying, you'll be deceived. You'll be fallen into sin. And you can't get out. It's not, it's not because God's power is not there. It's because you're being washed and washed by the devil's spirits. From whatever you see with your eyes, whatever you hear, Every single movies, um, Hollywood movies, are demonically influenced. Almost 100% of it, you can be sure. And you love them, you're deceived, my friend. If you listen to any worldly music, like almost everything in there, I bet you whatever you listen to is demonically influenced. It's devilish. Depart from it. You want to go to heaven? You want to go to heaven? Yeah, I want to go to heaven too. In my dream, I barely made it to heaven. I barely made it. I barely made it. You have to withstand humility. You know? God will test your faith. He tested the Samaritan woman's faith and called her dog. And even though being humiliated, she insisted to stay with Jesus Christ. And that's how you gotta be. 
And that's how I had to be. Yeah. I, I, I got humble. I was like, I thought I was surely going to make it. Oh, I barely made it in. I barely got in. They're, they're like, why should we let you in? This is serious. You want to play around? You don't want to give your 100% to God now? Well, forget entering heaven. Forget about being raptured. Forget it. You're not. You want to serve your Catholic gods? Huh? You want to bow down to Mary and worship? You, you ignore those who do the will of the Father. They're the one who's entering, not you. I'm sorry. You worship Mary, you're not going in. I'm sorry, that's not the Father's will. You're, you're totally deceived by demons and devils. That religion is totally being washed by demonic spirits and devils. I'm sorry, no Catholic, oh, I, I bet you, all of them are not going to heaven. I bet. Because they're serving a false god. You think you are? Oh, doing all these traditions and able to enter in? I'm sorry to break your, break your um, spirit. Even the, even the most sincere Christians, you know, if they're not doing the Father's will, you're not going to enter in. Let me give you that instead of, you know, condemning, let me give you tips on what you should be doing. Okay, if you're a leader, if you're a leader of even a little, little cell group, you know, like two, three people together, you need to pray at least five hours a day, fervently. And let me give you a tip on praying. Okay. There are people praying, but their pray prayers never reaches the heaven's throne. It never reaches there. You know why? The devil's all, all breaking and blowing it away and stealing it away, all your prayers. And it's not reaching heaven. Well, where can you find that in the Bible? Daniel, when he prayed, his prayers were hindered because the angel was caught by the, de the prince of Persia, which is the prince of the air, devils. They caught him. Couldn't do it. But Daniel was fasting, praying, fasting and praying, fasting and praying. For 21 days fasting and praying. And the Michael angel was sent for him to be free. Oh, if you're not even doing fasting and praying, you're probably very lukewarm. You should at least fast a day out of the week. You should start that now. Start now. Start it. Because you know why? You know, uh, let's say if Jesus comes back like in two years or something. Let's say that, okay? It takes time to build your character. If you're not ready as a clean bride, if you're not doing your best, you can't make it. You just won't be able to. You'll be slept. If you're not cleansed, your clothes clean, you will not make it. I'm sorry. I got to do everything. I'm speaking on the behalf of God. And I will be standing before Jesus Christ. So I stand as if Jesus Christ is here. And, and, and He is indeed here. He is indeed here watching me. And I'm going to be accountable for my words. So I need to be careful. I need to tell you the truth. So you either wake up or be destroyed. It's your choice. It's your choice. Is it easy to enter into heaven? No. Righteous is scarcely saved. If you're a sinner, no, I can't. Sorry. You believe in Jesus? Show me the fruit. Show me the fruit of repentance. You, you, bet, you got baptized in water? Great. Where is your work of repentance? Bear the fruit worthy of repentance. Or else, if you don't bear fruit, you also cut down. What? Oh, you're meddling with boyfriends and girlfriends? Huh? Sexual relationship? You're being unequally yoked with unbelievers, marrying into unbelievers? Huh? Well, really, really. You don't play around with that. You're not entering in heaven. I'm sorry to break you the news, but you should at least know and repent now before it's too late because in hellfire, it's torment, 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 torment forever and ever. And I'll, I'll, I'll be so scared to enter in there. You should do everything now. Seek God. Don't listen to your parents. Don't listen to nobody. But God's Spirit. You should listen to God's Spirit and His Word. Don't listen to your pastor. He doesn't know anything. He's blind. He'll also fall into hellfire. I'm sorry. Most of these pastors, they're demonic. They're devil worshippers. 
They don't even believe in heaven and hell. They don't even really believe. They preach, preach, preach. They don't. They themselves don't believe in heaven and hell. They don't believe. Red Sea got divided, huh? Oh, they don't believe that. They're, they're blind. They're dumb. They're deaf. They're leading everybody to hell. Oh, yeah. Just enjoy your life. They say. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just. Build up knowledge upon knowledge upon knowledge, but the, the, you've received knowledge and don't act upon it, and useless. Useless. If you, if you want to be a bride, this is what the, the pastor, if you want to be a bride of Christ, pray at least five hours a day and do what God wants you to do. Another tip, listen to the Holy Spirit and do Whatever he tells you to do. Now, I don't hear God. It's because you've been already rejecting the, the unctioning of the Holy Spirit. The conviction of the Holy Spirit. His voice, he told you to do something. And you refused to do it. That's why he stopped talking to you. You want to hear him again? Repent. Pray and pray and pray and pray and pray until he speaks. For five hours. Before you pray. Bind the devil, because he's blocking the prayers. In Jesus' name, boldly. And you must have faith to do this. And without faith, you cannot please God. In Jesus' name, bind the devils. In Jesus' name, cast you down. Get out in Jesus' name. You must be bold and strong. You need to hate the devil. You have any sympathy for, for devils? Oh man, you're deceived. The devil's already crawling up in your belly. They're crawling, crawling in you. Like serpents and snakes entering in you. Oh, don't be foolish. You, you, oh, I'm not going to cast out demons because that's mean and cruel. Wow, you're deceived totally by devils. Devils have no, no other purpose but to kill you and destroy you. And when you do that, when you have sympathy for devils and demons and you can't cast out because, oh, it's not, it's not my style. Oh, I'm, 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 a, I'm a gentle style. I don't have your kind of style. Well, you do that, devils think that, that you like them. And, and they're just going to enter your body. I'm sorry. That's what's really happening. You, you want the good news? The good news is you can cast out devils. That's the good news. Okay? The, that's the good news. That Jesus came to destroy the works of the devils. And then you also have the authority. You who are a believer of Jesus Christ. You have the authority. What are you, what are you scared of? You know why you're scared? Because you're not praying. You're not reading Bible. You're not spending time with God. Instead, you're watching scary movies and devil wa wa worshiping movies and, and all the devil worshippers' food. You're taking partaking with the same table of the devils and, and you're trying to partake with the table of the Lord. Obviously, it doesn't work. It's not going to work. I'm sorry. You better get right. You, else, you, you too are not entering to heaven. 90.9999% of these people who are watching my videos, they're probably not going to heaven. You know why? Not many people are living right. Not many people are doing 100% in these last days. That's what you should do. They hear, they hear, but don't do. What's the point of receiving, oh, of receiving inspiration if you don't put it into action? It's a waste of inspiration. Waste of inspiration. You, you just continue to watch preaching over preaching over preaching over preaching. In the last days, many people will just heap up themselves, teachers and teachers and teachers. And they're just watching YouTube over and over and over like dummies. Just watching another video, another video, another video like dummies. Instead of seeking God themselves, that's what you need to do. Videos don't help if you don't put it into action. Turn the... It's one a day maybe. Okay? No more. Spend your time, precious time with God. Oh, my life is too busy. Well, you make a choice. It's either God or your job. You got to live by faith. By faith, God will provide. Yeah, it's depend on Him. Bro, I want to live totally for you. God will provide. Why wouldn't He? It's just you don't have faith. Ask for faith. Ask, pray, pray, pray. Ask God, give me the faith. Give me the faith that you created the whole universe and everything is in, under your power. Give me that faith. Give me that faith.
cast out the devils out of the way, man. Your prayers are being hindered. Right now, the devil's trying to put, put, um, like, like, headache, headache over me right now. You know? Right now! Because I'm giving the guys message and they don't want me to. Jesus, the devil's, get off in Jesus' name! Hallelujah, glory to God. That's what you gotta do. I just showed you as an example of what you should do. And I just felt the headache leave too. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. And we give all the praise and glory. Don't try to take glory for yourself. What is that for you? Huh? You see, you ought to give 100% glory to God or you're taking glory to yourself and that's damnation upon your life. Don't do that. Don't receive praise. Don't receive thanks now. Give all the thanks and praise and glory dedicated to Jesus Christ 100%. Oh, I can sing so good. Oh, sing so good. Huh? You know what happened to them? these people, who, the gospel singers? They're turning homosexual. Yeah. They're turning to lesbian gay. They're, they're falling into sexual immorality. Oh, praise God, they say. Their lips and their, their mouth may sing unto God. Their heart is far from the Lord. They themselves, being leaders, don't pray. They're like, oh, you don't need to be extreme. You're, you're just, you're, you're just don't know anything. You don't know anything. Oh, you don't need to be extreme. In these last days, you must cry out unto God. Cry out unto God. Oh, but crying out is not my style. You either obey God's command to cry out unto God, for these are the last days. You ought to cry out unto the Lord every day. If you want to break through, cry out unto God. Pray in tongues, pray in tongues, pray in tongues. Oh, but God does not give because you're lukewarm. He's not giving you because you're lukewarm. If you only seek Him with everything, lay down everything, all your friends and entertainment, everything, He would give you the tongues. Why wouldn't He? Because you're lukewarm. That's, that's the truth. You're lukewarm towards God. You're neither hot or cold, and God is rejecting your prayer requests. I'm sorry. Be as fervent as possible, for the times are at hand. I'm giving you a solemn warning. Take the warning, heed the warning, do the work. I'm tired, sick and tired of these wicked Christians. Oh, half washed. Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm so suffering, so hard to breathe. You would have total victory and freedom if only you sought God with your whole heart. 100%, not 99.9. 100%, you must give everything. Everything. Stop dwelling with sin. Stop hanging on your friends. Stop hanging on your family members. Stop hanging on your girlfriend's boyfriend. Hang out with Jesus. Hang out with the Holy Spirit. You need to get to know Him now. It takes time to grow. And you must start now. You don't have that much time. Start now. It takes time and effort to grow in, in, into being a good Christian in the world. It's not an overnight work. I'm sorry. Blow you away. You think you can make it into the last second, last minute? Forget it. This is the last calling, last second, last minute that you'll ever have. Do what is right. Seek God. May the Lord Jesus Christ help, help you and enable everybody who's watching to be blessed and to enter into the kingdom of God, which is coming. God bless you. Those who are victorious will be victorious. Those not, God may have mercy upon you. God bless you.